that is a huge difference. So this here has filtered out all that gunk out of the water. What's going on guys, I'm Bill and welcome to Bill's How To. Today I'm gonna to show you how to replace the water filters on your complete home filtration system. Let's get straight into it guys, let's do this. All right guys, so I've had my complete water filtration system installed for just over a year now. It's now time to replace the filters. If you haven't watched my previous video, I did a lot of testing on the water before and after our filtration system here was installed. I also tested the water to show you guys what's actually in it and also a few different filtration options if you don't wanna have every tap in your house filtered. Now make sure you check that one out. Honestly, mind boggling. I still watch it till now because it's honestly unreal. But with regards to our filters, we've got three filters here that need to be replaced. We've got our sediment filter, which is going to filter out our rust particles, sand, silt, anything like that. It's almost a fabric material here, so we're going to have a big, big color change with regards to our new filter versus our old filter. So we're going to be very interesting to see the color change there. We've got our softening resin right here. And we've also got our carbon filter, which is going to reduce as much of that chloramine from the water as possible. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's get outside and get these ones here replaced. All right, so this here is the complete home filtration unit, and we need to remove this outer cover. We've got a locking screw on the left side, on top, and also on the right. So we're going to need to remove these little locking screws here. Just simply unscrew them. Pull that one there out, do the same thing on top and on the right side, and then we can pop this cover here off. So once the cover's off, this is what it ends up looking like. We've got our inlet right here, outlet on the other side, and we've got our bypass right here. And you'll notice that all of them are in a vertical position, which makes things much, much easier to work out. First thing we need to do is just simply turn these ones here off. So switch them over till they're in a horizontal position. Same thing on the other side. All right, once we've got that, we come up to the top. This is our little tool that we're gonna to use to remove the filters. And if you notice, we've got pressure on the gauges, each one of these ones here. So we need to release the pressure first so that we're able to remove the actual housing here nice and easy. Press this little button and our pressure there will drop. Make sure all of them are completely released. No more pressure built up. And now we can start removing these little cartridges. So now we can take the tool, slide that in underneath, pull the housing back a little bit and bring it right up to the top and just turn it over from right to left like that. We'll get this tool out of here. And then we can undo this one here and re repeat the same process on all three. You'll find that the first filter is the sediment, second one is our resin, and the third one is our carbon. So we'll bring this one here down. So we'll start off with the sediment filter. Pull that one there out and you can see just how discolored that is. If we put the two side by side, that is a huge difference. So this here has filtered out all that gunk out of the water. And if we have a look inside here, you can see just how dirty all of that water is as well. So we'll get rid of this water here. We'll put in our new resin filter. Put that one on the side. And we'll swap all of these three here over as well. All right, so now it's time to reinstall them. Now the order that they go back in is exactly the same as you took them off. However, we do need to flush out our carbon and flush out our resin. So the way we do this is install your first sediment filter as normal, which is the white one. So put that one on by hand initially. And then we can use our tool to tighten this one here back up just a little bit. You don't want to do it over tight, then it'll give you a hard time to take it off the next time around. Now the way this is going to be in the final stage is we're going to have our resin in the middle and our carbon on the end, but we need to flush them both out. So we're going to take our carbon first here into the second one, 
We're going to flush this one here out, so we're going to turn the water back on. That's going to flush out the carbon. We're going to do that about three to four times until it's running nice and clear. Then we take the carbon back out, um, flush out the resin, and then we can install our carbon right on the end. So I'll show you guys how to do that now. So this one here is the carbon, which is the red one. Install that into the second section. only want to do this one here hand tight because we're going to remove it once we flushed it. Now the way you flush it is just simply turn on the inlet valve so that the water is going to go through our sediment in through the carbon and it's going to flush out the carbon. So we're going to make sure that's nice and clean. So turn the water on from the inlet. Let it run for a couple seconds, let it stop, start it up again. And I'm not sure if you guys can see there, but the water is actually pretty dirty. It comes out with a little bit of a black tinge to it. So we just need to keep flushing it until it comes out nice and clear, trying not to get wet at the same time. All right, so once we've got this one here running nice and clear, we can now undo this one here. Remembering it's full of water, so just be careful not to drop it. So now we take the resin, which is the yellow one, do the exact same thing, put it in the middle. We can tighten this one up using the spanner because this is going to be our final position. And once again, flush it out. Once it's nice and clear, we can then install the carbon right on the end. So once you've got all three filters in, once again, obviously no pressure here. What we're going to do is we're going to turn this one here on. And we're going to keep our finger on the last button here just to release any of that air. So turn this one here on, keep your finger on that button. Once you don't hear any more air coming out, test out the rest of them. Make sure there's no more air bubbles. And we can turn this one here back and also close off our bypass. Once that's done, we can put the cover back on. We've got our pressure back up again, and this is now ready to go for another 12 months. So there you have it guys, that's how to replace the filters on your complete home filtration system, nice and simple. But this here is a very, very disgusting, but huge difference between the new filter and the old filter. Once again, if you haven't already done so, check out that other video. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the videos and you're learning something new. As always, like, comment and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Bill. Thanks for watching Bill's Out Too.